Hello, my name is Dave Buckley, and today I'm going to talk about data transfers out of, an ac out of a data acquisition unit. So similar to data sources, there are two types of data transfer that come out of your data acquisition unit. There is synchronous, and this is a pre-configured transfer that repeats periodically, similar to IRIG 106 Chapter 4 PCM. Your bandwidth is divided into maybe major frames and minor frames. Those, that bandwidth is filled with a particular set of parameters and repeats periodically over and over again. The other type of data transfer is asynchronous. And this type of data transfer only happens period only happens occasionally. It only you only send the data when you gather data. So you don't repeat the same pattern over and over again. When you receive a certain type of data, you will send it whenever you get it. If we focus on the synchronous data transfers first and take IRO 106 chapter 4 PCM as an example, and take a minor frame. The minor frame will very often include a timestamp which allows you to tell when each one of the parameters in the minor frame was sampled. The first parameter in the minor frame, let's call parameter one, sample one, and it may be that further down in the minor frame, you have the same parameter, parameter one, sample two also in there. This is the first sample of this parameter, this would be the second sample of this parameter. The timestamp will refer to the sample time of the first sample of the parameter and it would be possible to extrapolate the sample time of the second sample of the parameter based on the timestamp of the first one and the sample rate of the parameter. This work works very nicely if you have a synchronous source of data because if we take an example that this is the start of the minor frame, you may you will probably sample your data before there and then sample your data a little bit further on and you will sample it in nice equal intervals on the way in such that it gets placed nicely into the correct location in your minor frame. So for a fully synchronous system this works very well. If however you have an asynchronous source of data you may find that your samples come in at unusual times either too close together between sample rates or maybe even too far apart. So in this case you can never quite be sure number one exactly where your sample occurred and number two whether the two samples that come consecutively in your minor frame are actually two samples apart, or whether there was a sample in between, or whether it's the same sample again. So you might get glitches and unusual behavior with asynchronous data going into your minor frame. Now, you can account for this by adding extra data into the PCM frame. For each parameter, you can add a timestamp to say exactly when it was acquired, and you can add some flags which tell you whether this is the next sample after this sample, whether an another sample came in between, or whether it's actually this sample again because nothing happened. So there, there is enough metadata that you can send down your, in your PCM stream to tell you exactly when each of these asynchronous parameters occurred, but that uses up an awful lot of bandwidth and it can mean that for a 1 16-bit parameter or 12-bit parameter, you might have to send multiple, multiple words of data. And that's very inefficient given the amount of telemetry bandwidth that's available. So the other option is to just wait until you gather up all of the asynchronous parameters, gather them together, timestamp each one, and send it down in an asynchronous packet. This asynchronous packet works very well in the Ethernet world because this is the way Ethernet traffic is um, this is the way the Ethernet protocol works, but obviously doesn't work quite so well in the IRIG 106 PCM world. So what you find in modern day flight test data acquisition is that a lot of the packets that are sent to recorders, ones that don't have to go via telemetry link, will use asynchronous Ethernet packets to maximize the bandwidth and to um, make sure that the data is, is accurately captured and you know everything you need to know about the data that gets sent down. And by following a method of mixing synchronous and asynchronous data transfer, you can optimize the best way to send data from your data acquisition unit.